wow. When I have a morning off, I just get fired up. Uh, this is just also another reminder that not only is it true that not everyone's trying to lose weight when they're working out or in fitness, uh, maybe they're just working out because they want to get an intentional movement. Have you ever heard of that phrase, intentional movement? It just means I want to get my ass moving because it feels good. How about the fact that we went for a walk today because it felt good, because the sun was shining. Like, that's why I went outside. That's why I went for a walk. That's why I worked out outside. Like, I went to the gym today because it was my favorite kind of workout, not because I thought it was gonna make me lose weight. It's because it was my favorite kind of workout. How about that? How about when people try to tell a woman what the way her body's supposed to look? Mm, what? What do you mean how my body is supposed to look? Where is that in the dictionary? Where, what is your scientific fact about the way my body is supposed to look? Oh, I'm too muscly for you. That's, that's something I get all the time. Oh, you're putting on too much muscle or, oh, you don't want to look like a man, do you? <clears throat> what? Men would be lucky to look like me. Um, that's like the mentality I want to hear. And especially for like women that just had a baby. Oh, she hasn't lost the baby weight yet. <clears throat> Yeah, because I've been raising a baby that depends on me for everything. Like, that baby legitimately cannot even sit up yet. So, oh, I didn't lose the baby weight yet. Well, duh. Like, some people will lose the baby weight faster. And even if you haven't had a baby and you're on a weight loss journey and you're only losing, like, a pound a month or a pound a week, girl and boys, you're my hero. You are making steps toward a better, healthier life. Why are we so focused on what you're losing? What about what you're gaining? How about the, the knowledge behind fitness and nutrition? How about the knowledge about your body and what it's capable of? How about everything you're gaining, like a community, like a better understanding, like a better appreciation for your body? Oh my Lord. Like I'm about to go into this restaurant, Madame Zuzu's here in Highland Park, Illinois, and I'm going to get myself a soup and a sandwich and a cookie. And I'm not going to feel bad for, like about it for it literal second because i deserve it because i am deserving of whatever i want to nourish my body with and what i choose to fuel myself with is my business it's my choice the only person that should be having any opinion about what i'm eating is someone i'm asking like a professional for their opinion so if you've got a friend or a parent or a significant other that is commenting on your weight or your size or what you're eating or saying you're eating too much or too little um, and really meaning it like offensively or, or trying to shame you about what you're eating, they are not a positive influence and you need to shut that shit down. Stand up for yourself because you deserve it. Um, I mean, Danielle and I have such a positive relationship together and with nutrition and with like food and with exercise and that's kind of something we bond over and I cook for us and we do eat garbage and like I do need to cut back on it sometimes like I know that and and she would appreciate it if I wasn't like always buying so many snacks but seriously we have a good relationship because we understand that our journey toward a healthier body I'm like getting acid reflux I'm so upset is not just about weight loss it's also about muscle gain and mind muscle connection her mind muscle connection has improved so much uh, and her ability to understand her body and what it's capable of have improved so much and it has nothing to do nothing to do with how much weight she's lost or how much weight i've lost or how much we weigh period um i don't care what you weigh i don't care if you haven't lost any weight this month i don't care if you want to do cardio i, I do care about if you want to do cardio every day and no strength training um i don't care about your deadlift pr i care about your positive relationship with your body because at the end of the day at the end of an eight week fucking diet plan at the end of your pregnancy at the end of a relationship all you have left is you and what you did to yourself and how you reacted to things and how you behaved and what you've done to yourself internally mentally emotionally physically what have you done physiologically to your thyroid to your metabolism to your muscles to your body was it worth it was it because are the results of, you know, going through a breakup and then binging all the time and and like doing all these things and putting on a lot of weight and then not being able to, you know, get it off and then going through crash diets and negatively affecting your metabolism and your hormones. Did it do anything for you? Did you learn anything? Probably not. So that's really the question is why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you trying to lose weight or gain muscle or whatever? And is it worth it for you? And is it sustainable? Because at the end of the day, 
you're the one who has to live with you just you that's it i'm gonna stop pointing my finger that's offensive and rude but honestly truly from the bottom of my heart nobody nobody should be commenting or have an opinion about your body and saying it to you or anybody else except for you because that's your decision no one should be commenting on the way that you look except to tell you that you're looking damn good um and we're all trying to get better and trying to make progress and that's all you got to know peace guys